Hey, how's it going, my super friends? I am Memo Acebo. Long time no see, man. Really cool weekend, chillaxing. But hey, this is my news segment. I go over all the comic book headlines revolving the world. I choose the biggest ones and I give you my thoughts on them. Really quick, if you're new to the channel and you like Marvel Comics, DC, and Star Wars, man, subscribe! I talk about all of that, comic book reviews, news commentaries, movies, TVs. Click on the little bell so you get notifications and never miss my videos. I want to start off with the biggest headline. I think the biggest thing that everyone is talking about right now is the Avengers Infinity War poster, the teaser trailer, and the announcement of something coming out tomorrow. They're saying that it's a full trailer. Some people are saying it's another teaser, a little a little small trailer. And man, the directors Joe and Anthony Russo, they have been giving us a lot of cryptic clues, like the number three, the number two, what's next? Number one? Hey, I'm a really good detective. I'm a genius. However, the official word is that the teaser trailer for Marvel's Avengers Infinity War will debut on Wednesday. And that it's a little sooner that, than anyone expected. I mean, why Wednesday and when on Wednesday? Well, the why is pretty easy for me. I think they just want more attention. DC is doing the crossover at the CW and they're like, Hey, hey, yo, DC, I need some of that attention, man. I need the spotlight on me. Hey, check this shit out. And that's what Marvel does. That's what uh, an enemy or the competition does. Like Justice League. Justice League came out, so they released Punisher on the same day. The when is pretty easy also. Good Morning America will host the trailer's world premiere, so that means sometime between 7 a.m and at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, although I think it's gonna be like in the end of the show because they want viewers to stick around and watch all the fucking show. So I think the trailer will be coming out like at 8 a.m. Sort of like around there. 8 a.m. Central, like I'm in Central Time, so <laughs> it's, it's weird. 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Central, and what's Pacific? 10? 10 a.m. Pacific. I am hyped, man. I just want to see every. I want to see all the characters that are going to be in the movie in this trailer. I want the full trailer. Give us a little bit of the story. What's going on? Give us the tease, uh, the reunion of Cap and Stark, and all of that good shit. I haven't seen leaked footage because I'm so excited and I want to go in clean. I want to see everything for the first time in the movie. But I'm still going to watch this trailer. So I'm fucking pumped. Also, this poster came out. I like it. Eh, not that much. It's just the A. What do you guys think? Did you like the poster? Eh, maybe. Next up is Ben Mendelsohn. If you've been watching my videos, you know I talked about this guy and how he was gonna play a scroll. Well, at that time, speculators, with myself included, we thought that Mendelsohn was gonna indeed play a scroll, but now we got a new report that indicates that the actor will actually play the Kree military officer Jan Rog. And yes, this comes from the hashtag show. Those guys get exclusives like, man, like nothing. Almost every fucking day. Those guys are beast. They are saying that Mendelssohn already agreed to the role. The film is still in early production, so things may yet change. But hey, if you don't know who Jan Rog is, he was a commander of the Helion, a, a Kree spaceship sent to Earth on a mission by the Supreme Intelligence. He hates Marvel, who is probably gonna be Jude Law, and he tried to kill him on their mission to Earth. And he was also deeply jealous of the relationship between Marvel and Una. So this guy is gonna be the antagonist. He hates Marvel, so probably Jude Law and Ben. And Mendelssohn are gonna be squaring off in the movie. I'm kind of excited, man, but I don't like this more than the Super Scroll. I mean, Ben as a Super Scroll would have been killer. What do you guys think? Two really quick news items on Monday, American God star Ricky Whittle, he's an amazing actor and the show is really cool, you should watch it if you haven't seen it, he was thrown into this mix for Jon Stewart. The Green Lantern screenwriter Michael Green with the abysmal movie starring Ryan Reynolds, Michael Green suggested that the actor would be perfect for the role. This is an image of Ricky as Jon Stewart Green Lantern by Boss Logic. And I dig it, I kinda like it, I'm not super excited about this guy as Green Lantern, but he looks okay, I don't know, what do you guys think about him as Jon Stewart? Tell me in the comments down below. And finally, Legion's Shadow King is going to be recast. Saeed, the actor who was playing Shadow King, is dropping out of FX's Legion midway through filming, says Variety. No reason was given for this departure, but FX is looking to recast the role, and he tweeted, a big surprise would be coming soon. So, I don't know, man. I don't really think that the actor behind the Shadow King is that big of a deal, honestly. I mean, it's a lot of CGI. We've seen Shadow King be Aubrey Plaza, uh, some other character. And yeah, I'm not really excited excited or sad about it, but hey, I'm excited about Legion, so I want to see who's next for this Shadow King role. What do you think? Did you like this guy or we just don't care? <laughs> Thanks for watching my new segment, I am MOSL. If you enjoyed, please click the like button, share the video with some friends, tell me in the comments down below what do you think of all these news, what are your thoughts? Check out my other videos up in the channel, follow me on my social media, Twitter and Instagram, subscribe to see more, and of course, I'll see you in the next one.